How do guys? It's Luke at Luke's APS, and in this video, we're going to be drinking some lovely Yorkshire biscuit tea. Probably the best tea in the world. <sighs> Play the intro. Yes, that tea is amazing. As a type 1 diabetic, that's a treat in a cup. It's, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> I've drunk so much of it. It's going to make me poorly. But anyway, guys, this board, um, when the client rang up about this, I got quite excited. One, for the video side of it more than anything else. Because it's an ocean board that's going to be affordable and lightweight. Because of the budget, I couldn't do anything with resins. Um, because it's a board, obviously it's going to cost loads in just pouring resin to get the deep water to get all the rocks and everything through. So that opens up quite a lot of nice new videos, like how to do all the water effects to make it playable, of show rocks underneath and do splashing up rocks and stuff, um, but not having the deepness and the depth. So we're having to do all the painting and everything of that. There's going to be dock on it. There's going to be palm groves because it's set in the Caribbean. There's going to be white sands. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different things on this that I've not done before. And with it being cheap and lightweight, it fits in with the channel great. Um, so, yeah, um, I did lose the intro of this uh, video because of what happened last week. <laughs> and I deleted a bit of it. But it's all, the stuff that I do all the time, guys, it's just sticking some foam down with some gator glue, um, using my modeling compound, the magic stuff, uh, to blend it all in and, you know, make it so it all fits in lovely. Um, all things you can buy from my shop below, guys, uh, which really helps me out. And if you don't want any of that, you can always check out Yorkshire Biscuit Tea because it's the shit. It's all in my Amazon affiliate stuff. <laughs> really helps me out. But anyway, guys, let's get the camera down and uh, let's uh, take you through this part one video of this Caribbean ocean board. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Right, guys, so on this board, how we started this out was. Um, we went to the wood yard and we got some three mil ply cut to um, three foot by three foot three inches because that's the size of the guy's boot. And, uh, and then we got some uh, one inch by one inch uh, battening all the way around it. As you can see, um, there's a batten there and there. This board weighs absolutely nothing. Um, you, can you can literally pick it with two fingers. Um, so we'll just flip this over without banging all my lights and everything. Um, and as you can see, this is where we've got to. Um, I'll explain with a couple of pictures how we got to this point. Um, but what we did was um, we cut some um, 25 mil polystyrene, just the really cheap stuff, to the size of the board. Okay. Then we planned out all the islands. Um, we wanted like a third of the board covered. Um, so what we did is we, we just drew it out, got a rough idea. Sent it to the client, made sure that's where he wanted because there's going to be pirate ships and uh, so on the water, and there's also going to be a bit of action on the island. So we want to make sure there's enough playable room on, on a small table. So we sent it to him, we measured it out, happy. Next thing was we need to plan where we're going to put as trees because there's going to be some nice palm trees and a bit of undergrowth just to give it some sort of features and textures. And we decided we're going to put them here, all right? Because of where we planned with the trees, just to make sure there's plenty of places for the models to get through. And there's going to be a nice big dock over here, uh, which the dock's not here yet. It should hopefully be here in the week. Uh, and then we can put that in. And um, that'll be a video on its own, making a dock and like a, a nice docking area with rocks up against it and splashing waters and all sorts. Um, so that's what's going on over there. Once we'd planned all that out, um, we cut the shapes of the island. Um, we stuck it down with gator glue um, and then we burnt it to the shape to get a nice gradual shape to get it as smooth and to this sort of nice uh, texture that we've got. Um, what we did was is we used the famous modeling compound uh, that I developed um, to get the shape and make sure it was firm and just make sure it was nice and smooth. And the way we made it as smooth as possible is we put it on, we give it five, ten minutes. And then we started patting it and making it as flat and as smooth as possible. 
And then we came in and just rubbed it and rubbed it and rubbed it with loads of wet water. And then it became pretty smooth, as you can see here. Um, and once we got that down, these are slight tiny textures to the modeling compound. So what we did was um, we just put some glue down over most of it. And then we just put neat tile grout on through a sieve to get that lovely sort of sand texture. Now we have painted this and there's a reason for that. Uh, later, which I'll cover when we start painting it because I've got that footage. But once we got all that down, we let it dry and then we came back the next day and we moved on to the water, which I can show you how we put all the watercolors down and how we painted it all up to be, be a, a nice blue, yes, blue water. All right, guys. So let's roll the footage of us painting it and getting it all ready and we'll uh, see you at the next point. I don't even know what I'm saying, I'm just making it up as I go along. I think I need some more biscuit tea, a bit. Right, so this is where we got the board tour. Um, as you can see, the tile grout and everything is already down. Now, one thing that I didn't like is the colour of the tile grout on an unpainted surface. Um, what I normally do is paint the base colour down, then put tile grout on over the top. But with the modelling compound being like a, an off, like an off-white grey colour, I thought you know that that should be all right. And when it dried, I wasn't overly happy with the finish. So we went in with a, a couple of colours, Crafter's Choice from the works, and some army painter spray cans. And this is like a zandry dusty sort of golden brown like a really dark sand color uh, as a base so we paint this all over so when we next put the tile grout on um it'll have this sort of color coming through uh, we will spray it with a, an, a bone can as well before putting the um tile grout on so then we've got like a really nice sandy color that we're already putting the grout on top of so once we spray that down with all the glues and everything it should be the perfect color um, I just thought I'd try it without because I had the opportunity to, it's not worked. So it's always good to put a base colour of what you want down first and then you chuck the grouts on over the top and then you don't have to paint the actual grout itself. So we just applied that all over and then we moved on to the uh, lovely blues. So we went to the works and I got the darkest blue I could find, which is this colour. Um, they don't have colours on the on the bottle, so I don't know what it is. Um, I'm looking like that because I'm thinking, Christ, it looks like a Playmobil um, <laughs> sort of sea colour. But we'll fix that later. Just make sure that when you're putting the, the colours down that you sort of do follow the land form slightly. Um, so you get like a nice sort of real form of the uh, deep uh, depths of the water. Now once that colour's down it does look a bit over the top, um, so what we do is we mix uh, a blue grey in with the dark blue to get the next colour, which should lighten up to like a greeny blue, a greeny grey blue should I say, um, and then we put this on in front of that. Um, now when you're putting this on don't worry about blending yet, just get it on there. Um, and make sure that you've got all of your colour where you want it and you've got you've got your main sort of three blues down um, so you can blend it all in together while it's wet. Now with us, the two of us working on this, uh, Wayne's just putting the main colour down and I'm blending it in as you can see. And as I start to do this, he starts having a go at me saying I'm doing it wrong. Um, so, <laughs> so I just carry on doing it wrong. Um, but I know that the water effects that we use um, they distort the image so so much underneath. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Just as long as you don't have any really definite edges, it'll look great once the water effects are on top. Okay, so apply that that second blue all over. Uh, we're playing more in the uh, behind that island because it's going to be like a bit of a lagoon. Um, now, what you need to start doing now is while all the paint's wet, is just start pulling them into each other and just get rid of that really sharp edge. Once you've done that, just add a bit more blue-grey to that colour and keep dra drawing in lines uh, near to the top of the, uh, like where you're coming into the beach and build this up over, over like five minutes or so, keep adding a little bit more and just keep lightening it up closer to the beach you go. Now as you can see, we've not been neat with the sand colour and we've even left some white and that through. We're not that bothered because we're going to be putting grouts and other bits on top of that anyway, so that will hide all that. So again, you don't have to be neat because the main work's to come in the next video. 
Um, but we'll just keep just splashing that paint on and blending it in and getting a nice graduation. It's very simple to do. Now we're spraying a bit of um, green uh, onto the uh, blues as well, just to give it that sort of greeny blue finish. Just mist this from uh, above and, and you'll get that desired look quite simply. Now for really deep water effects, we're going to add some black. Yes, black. Now don't go over the top with this, spray from a distance and just catch it, uh, we're catching the edge because that's where we want it. Um, but because we're doing it such, in such a thin coat, it's actually like a really dark blue, okay? Um, so it does represent really deep water very well, just spraying it on like this. So as you can see, once that's starting to dry, um, you get a really nice transition of all them different blues. Now what we do is we paint uh, Ron Sil varnish on. Uh, this is because uh, the water effects that we use have a lot of alcohol and stuff in it and it can sometimes reactivate the paint. Um, so we put some uh, gl gloss varnish on there just to make sure that it's got some protection. Now, a slight happy accident here. Um, what happened is, is it, we'll put it on a bit too soon and it pulled a bit of the light colour on that we put on last into the varnish and then we pull once we've put this varnish on we've pulled it all over so on the left that's it before and on the right that's it after and as you can see it's got a really nice realistic sort of bluey green finish and the transition's lovely and neat happy accident but turned out great oh this stuff's just amazing if I've not mentioned it yet, check out Yorkshire Biscuit Tea. Oh, it's beautiful. It's all in links below, guys. <laughs> Type 1 diabetic. I don't get to eat many biscuits. And this is amazing because it's like, like, I'm drinking biscuits, but I'm not taking on any calories. It's the future. The future. Liquid, liquid treats. It's beautiful. Oh, I, sh I should tell people about this more often. Hey, guys. If you've liked this video, um, do let me know in the comments below. Um, but there's going to be quite a bit on this uh, board, a good three or four videos. And then like I did with the Mediterranean board, I'll do a very, you know, a brush over of the entire build. Apart from the intro, because I deleted it like an idiot. But just the, you know, it's very simple and it's going to be a very cheap build. Um, and it's going to be super light. I mean, this is probably going to be the lightest board I've ever built. Um, and I'm going to be doing things that are a lot different, like palm tree groves. Um, I'm going to be doing docks. It, it's going to be nice. It's something a little bit different. Plenty of playable water as well. Um, and you can see how I make it playable and everything over the next few videos. So if you're liking my videos, guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell. Um, if you want to check out my shop, all the links to that are below. Um, I sell scenics, flocks, static grasses. Um, base ready material, just modeling compound, awesome stuff, uh, and everything like that at the Geek Gaming Shop, which is my store. Um, anything else I don't sell, check my Amazon affiliate links. And for things like this and important modeling tools and anything else that you want, because uh, I get a cutback, does not affect your pocket. I don't do Patreon, um, I don't have donations, I don't have anything like that. Um, I, I try and make my own money my own way. <laughs> All right, guys. so. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again for the next video. Love, love, love.